in when he wants to.
is a documentarian of great uh, celebrity here. She and Greg, uh, Atlanta friends of mine. Anyway, I was telling her uh, uh, stuff about, like, my son had just done a documentary as a thesis uh, graduate. He'll make no money, is what I'm saying. He's not going to make a goddamn dime. But he will, uh, he will enlighten in his every effort. And uh, he's written, he, he uh, did a documentary uh, called Music Man Murray. It's not available. It's not a public uh, figure thing. Yet. But it's about an onogenarian man, 92 years old. He has the world's largest vinyl collection. And I said, well, why are you interested in this man? He's got wax cylinders. I'm just weeping when I'm listening. So why are you interested in this old man? He said, Dad, he's built a monument to obsolescence. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Not true. This certainly is. <laughs> and I hate to be vulgar, but you can't make up shit like this. <laughs> I meant the record. Oh, oh the record. <laughs> <laughs> I need back. I need back, Well, I'm interested in high fidelity. I like the way it sounds. I like that word. I don't think it has to belong to the bellicose marines. High fidelity is something very important. I met General Sarnoff, if you pardon me, that I don't mean to amuse you too much, but I met the man who invented what is called broadcast radio. His name is General Sarnoff. He wasn't a general, but he made everybody around him call him a general. <laughs> My uncle was an ad executive over his RCA account. He, he started RCA and NBC. As a matter of fact, one time General Sarnoff had to come up with the word broadcast. Does anybody know how it derives etymologically? It's no. just by throwing seed. Broadcast, it's an agrarian term for the correctness to the straightness of the, of the aim and so forth. It took a good hand to give a clear, to get a clear result. Nothing to do with the aim. Nothing to do.